All right, man. It's the Cash Parent Podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So today we're gonna we're gonna react to to uh, something Dave Chappelle has said. And um, yeah, we'll be back. Who raised you? was crazy oh my god uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves you know that's why they have parents oh eat each other what yo i yeah, can't I understand it neither i'm just ahead of it all right yeah man we're back so look cash apps on the screen if you want to donate to the channel youtube has demonetized us Technically, they haven't demonetized us, but we are not monetized because we can't receive no ad revenue because we're not a part of the AdSense. So, which is weird to me that we're not a part of the AdSense, but we're still getting views and they're not paying us. So, we start a partner program up. So that's just her. Well, but look, Dave Chappelle. Back in the news again, so let's watch what he said and come back and discuss. Ah, uh, yeah, man, we back. So let's listen to what Dave Chappelle had to say. Then we're gonna come back and discuss. And the only thing that got me out of that space was a comedian friend of mine, the late great Norm McDonald. That's right. Shout out to Norm. And what Norm did, which I'll never forget is he knew that I was the biggest Jim Carrey fan in the world. Now, I'm not going to go all into it, but Jim Carrey is talented in a way that you can't practice or rehearse. What a God-given talent. I was fascinated with him. And Norm knew that. And he called me up and he goes, Dave, um, he says, I'm doing a movie with Jim Carrey. Um, do you want to meet him? And I said, fuck, yes, I do. And it was the first time I could remember since my father died being excited. In the movie... It was called Man on the Moon. I didn't know any of this. And in this movie, Jim Carrey was playing another comedian I admired, the late, great Andy Kaufman. Yes, and Jim Carrey was so immersed in that role that from the moment he woke up to the time he went to bed at night, he would live his life as Andy Kaufman. I didn't know that. When they said cut, this nigga was still <laughs> Andy Kaufman. So much so that everybody on the crew called him Andy. I didn't know any of that. I just went there to meet him, and when he walked into the room where we were supposed to meet, I screamed, Jim Carrey! And everyone said, no! <laughs> Call him Andy. And I didn't understand. And then he came over and he was acting weird. I didn't know he was acting like Andy Kaufman. He was just like, hey, how you doing? And I was like, hello. <laughs> Andy? Now, in hindsight, how fucking lucky am I that I got to see one of the greatest artists of my time immersed in one of his most challenging processes ever. Very lucky to have seen that. But as it was happening, I was very disappointed. Because I wanted to meet Jim Carrey, and I had to pretend this nigga was Andy Kaufman all afternoon. And he was clearly Jim Carrey. I could look at him and I could see he was Jim Carrey. <laughs> anyway, I say all that to say, that's how trans people make me feel. That was cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. That was cold. Oh man, that may have been the greatest joke of all time, right there. The greatest twist in a joke of all time. That probably is in. That probably is number one. That story had people believing something totally different, and it's so crazy because this is exactly this is exactly what 
you know, most people, how most people feel. That's exactly how most people feel. And he just, he just, the way he encapsulated that and put that in perspective like that, that was crazy. That's genius. That's genius level. Like that's genius level writing because you had people believe in one story and you didn't even realize how crazy you, you, cause you, he sound crazy to you. He literally sounds crazy to you because you're saying that not even that he sound crazy. You're saying that Jim Carrey sounds crazy. And he's saying, damn, mm -hmm. I wanted to meet Jim Carrey, but he was playing this character that, you know, he was playing his character. And the audience is kind of like, why is he doing this to Dave? Dave really wanted to meet this guy. This is crazy. Like why they, this isn't right, Jim. You, 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 sh you should, you should, you should have known better. And then he said that. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. He um he completely threw me for a loop. That's for sure. That's uh Yeah, man, that's next level writing. You can't you you can't take no master class for that. That's just natural ability right there for him to for him to swerve everybody like that. That was crazy. Yeah, it was. That was crazy. That was real crazy. Yeah, it was, man. Yeah. It's, it's... Yeah, that see, and I'm just gonna say this. To the to the gay and trans community, everybody gets jokes, bro. Let's just be clear here. You ain't exempt. You can't be mad that somebody making a joke on you, bro. You can't be mad. You know what I'm saying? So you have to understand that that's what happens. People going to make jokes about you. People going to make jokes about everybody. You know what I'm saying? So I don't. I, what I don't understand is why they why they think that they're exempt from jokes. You're not. Black people get jokes. White people get jokes. Asian people get jokes. Retarded people get jokes. That's just how it goes. So. It's a joke. You know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe because it's rooted in uh what they say, uh truth, but still a joke. Got to take it for what it is. Either way, man. Yeah. Go ahead, you got something to say? Yeah, it's facts. Uh it's still a joke, you know. Um I I don't see nothing to get offended about, you know. I've <laughs> Honestly, I've heard him say way worse. <laughs> I've heard him go in. So yeah. I that that was to me as genius as it was, that was still light. That was light. He took he he took it. That was kind of light. If he really wanted to like have everybody busting out, rolling out of their seats, crawling and crying and Laughing in tears, he would have said something way different. Y'all, listen. Yeah. If y'all got offended over that, then y'all definitely don't want to hear what what he what he said in recent memory, which some of y'all probably have anyway. But anyway, man, I I don't see the uh, yeah, it's rooted in truth, but I don't see it as much of a a big deal as far as uh offensive you know what i mean it was funny it was funny as hell yeah. but. hey man look sketch pad we out of here see y'all peace bye All right, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the face today. You want to start over? Yeah, start. <laughs> I'm about to sneeze, man. Oh, I'll be. <laughs>